okay, so the past few weeks, We have had great star viewing conditions and shooting stars, but this spacing out report this week is focused on one of the more unique night sky sites of the year, and that is a blood red moon. Ross. And Sasha, a lunar eclipse, it'll be visible both in Ohio and Michigan, but for the first time ever, it's going to happen on election day, right yeah. as the polls open early morning thing if you're up in the morning find the moon it's not that hard to do and it should look pretty nice and red if it's clear that day for the first time in american history the moon will turn blood red on election day and it won't happen again until the year 2394. this tuesday morning the moon will move into the earth's shadow leading to the lunar eclipse on the daytime we see the sun on the nighttime we don't but the earth is a thing and so it casts a shadow into space a cone actually and so if the moon happens to pass into that shadow you will get a lunar eclipse. While most of the light gets blocked in the Earth's shadow, the blood red color is an exception. The reason why it's red is the fact that the Earth's atmosphere scatters blue light much more efficiently than red light. And so if you have all the colors of the rainbow coming into the atmosphere, the blue light will get scattered away and what's left is red light. So when can you see this red moon? Right when the polls open in Ohio Tuesday morning. The great thing about a lunar eclipse is that all you got to be is on the dark side of the Earth, right? So as long as it's sort of nighttime, you're good. You have a chance to see it. All right, so when can we see this? Again, election morning, Tuesday morning. The partial eclipse begins at 4.09, but that total eclipse, that's when you get that blood red coloring there. And that begins at 5.16 in the morning. Maximum eclipse, the best time to see it around 6 a.m. And then 6.41, that's when the total part of that eclipse ends. Now, we actually won't see the final phase of this because... The moon will set. It'll go below the horizon there at 723 in the morning, but that's okay. That's just a partial eclipse. By the way, the next time we get a total lunar eclipse, not a solar eclipse, but a lunar eclipse, March 14th, 2025. So it's going to be a while. How about the cloud forecast? Remarkably, it looks really good. Only a 20% chance for clouds. So that means there's an 80% chance that we'll see it. Of course, we'll keep you updated on that cloud forecast. All right, looking forward to it. Thank you so much, Ross. In case you missed this, remember, we'll have Space and Out posted for you on social media as well. Yep.